Welcome back, everybody. It's Jerry here again with the Happy Hootie. On our travels today, we are going to be visiting the Ozarks Luxury RV Resort in Table Rock Lake. Well, it's not in Table Rock Lake. It's on Table Rock Lake. This is a luxury RV resort, and we stayed here for two nights. It is located in Arkansas, just over the Missouri-Arkansas border. It was a pretty fun place that had nice amenities compared to a lot of the places that we have visited in the past. What you see there is the owner's swimming pool. The visitor's swimming pool is actually a separate swimming pool, which we found a little disheartening because the owner's swimming pool is pretty nice. And we, in fact, after staying there, even looked into purchasing a lot because this seems to be a nice place that we would like to visit again in the future. What we have here is the visitor's swimming pool, which, although smaller, was not crowded at all and did have wonderful vistas of the lake and surrounding areas. It was good size for kids, and they also had a hot tub that was located there too. And if you look off the edge, you will see that they have spent a lot of time and a lot of money on landscaping around this place, which we found very enjoyable during our time here. Now other amenities that they had located at the resort were a public meeting space, which is an activity building which we did not partake in. Uh, we didn't have any need to go in there, but they did have that available should you choose to do it. And a brief glimpse here of the excess area for boats and drop off for trailers and things like that should you tow it. Now most of the spots were able to handle as long as a 47 foot RV class A and a car so they were plenty big for the spaces. They're oversized spaces and a majority of them uh, are wonderfully landscaped. There are a few of them that are still fairly primitive meaning that they just have and when I say primitive they, they have full hookups on all the sites that we saw so they have your electric, they have your water hookup, your sewer hookup on every single lot but when I say primitive, some of them only had a dining room table or kitchen table, picnic table outside, and, and that was basically it. Others of them had a lot more amenities. Our particular site is this one located here, spot number 305. It uh, was wonderfully landscaped with some rocks and nice bushes. We had a picnic table, and we had another table with an umbrella, and various chairs, options, plenty of room for seating. Uh, we could have brought out our own lounge chairs and had areas uh, because we had a pull-in site. So we had a lake view site that looked over the Table Rock Lake and that was a, a wonderful feature that we had. They even had a barbecue grill which we didn't use because I don't know if there was any extra cost for that and we didn't need it, but it was there. But each of these sites are individually owned and they are rented out through a property management company uh, that is located at the resort. So should you choose to go down and visit, you can pull up their site map online and you can call up and actually reserve one of these spaces uh, that's there. Uh, one of the nice things that we really liked, there was a private boat dock for the people that were visiting that were there and it was virtually unused, which was boggled my mind. The first night we were there, we went down and swam off the end of the dock on a lily pad with the kids. They had an absolute ball. The lake water was great. It was not very rough. This is towards one end of the lake, so there wasn't a lot of uh, boat traffic that was out here. But one of the other nice parts about this boat dock and the fact that this is a luxury RV resort is the fact that since we rented a boat, they actually come pick you up at the boat dock and take you over to the actual marina, which is not too far away. As you can see there in the distance, that's our RV, the white one there overlooking Table Rock Lake, and they have quite a few lakefront lots, and you can actually see the lake from quite a few of the interior lots as well. But this boat ride uh, that we rented this boat from Cricket Creek Marina, which is located not too far away, is one of the nicer marinas in the area. We have used this before when we've stayed at Big Cedar Lodge in Branson. Um, it was just a short drive to come down here. They have a wonderful marina. It has lots of boats to rent. They have a lot of amenities that are located there on the dock, such as uh, all the bait and tackle that you could possibly want, any of the uh, boating accessories that you could possibly ever feel like you'd need to have. They are well stocked over there as well. Uh, in addition to that, they also had a uh, fish cleaning area so that should you choose to uh, 
need to clean fish and whatnot there, you can actually clean the fish right there on the dock and they give you instructions on how they wish for you to handle that. But it was a really clean area that they had set up there, which was kind of nice. Uh, I personally didn't fish, but if I did, this would be a nice place to be able to clean up the fish when you came back prior to taking all the mess back with you, which is certainly good. And they also had a couple of friendly helpers that, that continue to stay on their uh, countertop there, a little furry friends. I asked them if they actually let them run around, and they said they did some, but the majority of the day, these two little helpers were just kind of hanging out, and that was kind of fun for the kids to get to, to see that as well. But we got they have pizza and food and other things you can purchase from that, that dock as well, which is really nice. And it was great that they picked us up there when we were done. Uh, they dropped us right back off of the dock at the RV resort, which was fantastic. The drive lanes are wide as you're getting around this RV resort. They also are paved in asphalt. Like I said, they're, they're really wide, really well marked. And the fact that, that you can drive a, a full-sized you know, brand new 45, 47 foot class A pulling a, a tow vehicle, not having to worry about branches being too low or things not being kept up because the crew that is out here, they had crews that were picking up trash. Uh, they had crews that were cutting grass. They had crews that were escorting you to, your, to and from your site, if you wish, to help you get set up. So when we got there, they actually had us showed us where everything was like these boats and everything where you could put additional boats and sea dues and things like that and they escorted us directly to the site they showed us how to hook up even though we already knew how to do that it was still nice that they helped get us into the spot the spots were all level so we didn't really have to worry about leveling anything which was fantastic and unheard of for some of these sites they did things like pick up your trash every morning which is another thing that we had never had before uh, you set your trash out uh, by the number that's located there and they would pick it up every morning i mean this was a, a full service luxury rv resort i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing a brief little overview of what it has to offer and would get yourself a chance to stay there sometime if you felt this helpful please feel free to like and subscribe and we will bring you more great content here in the future thanks for watching